Lesson 7.4, Count and Write 13 and 14. We use cubes and 10 frames to count 13 and 14, and we write the numbers 13 and 14 and the words 13 and 14 right and left-handed. Here we have some orange cubes. Let's count the cubes in the top row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 10 cubes in the top row. There are one, two, three cubes in the bottom row. 10 cubes and three cubes is 13 cubes. Here's the number 13 and here's the word 13. T-H-I-R-T-E-E-N, 13. The 13 is written as a 1 and a 3 next to each other, 13. There are 10 cubes in the top row here, and there are 4 cubes in the bottom row. 10 cubes and 4 cubes is 14 cubes. Here's the number 14. Here's the word 14. F O U R T E E N. The number 14 is a 1 and a 4 right next to each other. These two numbers together next to each other are the number 14. 14 is one more than 13. We can see there's one more cube here than 13. 14 is 1 greater than 13. We can use our right hand to write the number 13. We start here at the top line and we make a 1. Then we start here a little bit below the top line and make our 3. The 1 and the 3 next to each other make the number 13. We can write the word 13 with our right hand. We make a T, we cross it from this side, we make an H, I, R, T, E, E, N. 13. We can write 13 with our left hand. We make our 1 starting here and coming down. We make our 3 next to it. The 1 and 3 next to each other is the number 13. We can write the word 13 with our left hand. We make our T by starting here and coming down. We go on this side to cross it and pull it towards our hand. We make an H. I, R, T, E, E, N. See the word teen right here? It's 13. We can write the number 14 with our right hand. We start at the top and make a one coming straight down. We make our four. The one and four next to each other makes the number 14. We can write the word 14. We have F-O-U-R-T-E-E-N. See how it has teen just like 13? We make a F. And we cross it pulling towards our hand. We make a O. U, R for four. Now we write the teen. Fourteen. We can write it with our left hand, holding our pencil like this. We make a one and then a four next to each other. We start here and make our one and we make our four. 
The one and four next to each other is the number 14. We can write the word 14. We have F O U R and teen. F, we cross it coming towards our hand. O U, up and bounce down. R, we make our T by drawing the line and crossing it towards our hand. E, E, N, 14. Here we have some pumpkins and a 10 frame. Without counting all of the pumpkins, we can see there are 10 pumpkins and three more. We have a full 10 frame, which is 10, and we have three more. We have 10 plus three more. We have 10, 11, 12, 13 pumpkins. We can write an addition sentence showing 10 and three more, and it's equal to 13. Here we have some acorns in a 10 frame. Without counting all of the acorns, we can see there are 10 and four more. We have a full 10 frame, which is 10, and we have four more. And we can complete an addition sentence to match what we see. We have 10, we can write a 10, and plus we have four more. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We can write 14, there's 14 in all. 10 plus four more is equal to 14. We have 10 ones and four ones. That makes 14 ones. Here's Lou. Lou has 14 carrots. We need to draw more carrots to show 14 in all. We have 10, and we can draw more. Eleven. You can put some leaves on it. Twelve. We can put some leaves on that one. Thirteen. And fourteen. We needed to draw four more. There are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 is 10 and four more. You can practice writing 13 and the word 13 and 14 and the word 14. And remember 13 is 10 and three more. 14 is 10 and four more. In our next lesson, 7.5, we're going to model and count 15. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.